Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's go do some mud bugging. Guess we can turn this off of air conditioning and turn on the heat. It's only 60 degrees out. It was uh, 49 degrees this morning when I woke up. Well, we are obviously at the tent right now. Got up here yesterday. Melissa's gonna join me tonight. Came up here, got everything mowed. It hadn't been mowed at all this year. It was getting pretty long. It looks really nice now. Well, that's two traps in this lake. Not sure if I'm gonna do another one. There's another spot I would put them in way down there, but you've gotta, it's hard to get to. I only wanna put a few out just to see what's happening. I'd like to throw one here, but it's Friday, and if somebody comes in here and camps, I'm not going to want to walk through their camp to go check a trap. I've trapped them here at this boat landing, but on the weekend, this is probably going to be pretty busy. It's going to be a nice weekend. One person out there fishing now. I think I'll skip this area. That's actually the lake that Zachary did his winter camping video at last winter. I threw one in here. This is actually a little river. We'll see what happens. A 
Now this is that same river, but maybe, I don't know, eight or 10 miles from where I was. Water is really low. I might be able to put one in there, but that water is really moving quite fast right here where it's deep. I'll see if I can't get one off to the side right there. And I got one sitting right there. Lots oh, four traps set. I think we'll just go with that, come back and check tomorrow, see if we catch anything. We got a rough grouse with eight or nine babies. <laughs> Cute. Good morning, everybody. It's time to go out and check those traps. It rained quite a bit yesterday. I stopped over at my dad's and uh, he's out doing some chinking on the folks cabin and uh, he said that since he was up here last about a week ago two and a half inches of rain was in his rain gauge well that kind of puts a damper in my trip <laughs> Uh, I got to go back to the tent now and get my chainsaw. Lucky I brought it up. That's a big popple tree there that fell down. All right, let's get back on schedule. Well, I only caught nine of them in this trap, and they are small. There's only one in here that's even close to, like this one over here, to being an eater. So, they're too small yet. Oh, we did quite a bit better in this one. I'll get them counted up, but they're still small. A couple of, a couple of them in there are decent size, but not any real big ones. I'll get them counted up. Now, this one had 41 in there. If I were to set up like a 
I did one here off the pier or whatever that is and then the one over there and then usually I go down and I put two or three and I do good in those if I wait for a couple of weeks two, two or three weeks and run them again but run them all the way down even in that harder area I could get enough to do a small but a decent enough crawfish boil Out of those two traps, we caught 50 of them. I don't expect to catch anything in the two little rivers, uh, or the two spots in that little river. We'll see what happens. And I have caught them years ago when I trapped it. It, it goes up by the tent, and but they're a different species. That's why it's fun to put traps and just let different little bodies of water over through the years to see if any of the species that was in this lake has now migrated into the river or not. This trap had nothing in it. It'd be interesting at the other spot because that water is moving. Here it's not really moving at all, but it's not looking good for the river ones, but I didn't expect much. Nothing in this one either, except for weeds. <laughs> okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. We learned that there is nothing right now in the little rivers. And that what I should do is, at that lake, bring uh, my other boat up here and go out there and just set a whole bunch of them and then come back the next day and collect them all and we can do a boil and I might do that. I just need to wait a couple more weeks, two, three more weeks for them to get a little bit bigger. I will see you guys on the next video.